after 204 games, San Marino have only ever managed to win just one. Their opponents that night, the country of Liechtenstein. You'll never guess who they're playing again tonight. Forza San Marino. Let's see if they can do it again. Now we're staying pretty much in the middle of Cerro Valley, where the National Stadium is, and the capital of Chitta de San Marino. It's a strange little place, it's kind of like a caravan park. Febby's over here filming a nice little time lapse or something. Over here we have a goat pen, but they've been put to bed, so we can't go and play with them. Hopefully I can in the morning before we leave, and then we'll bring you some more content from San Marino, up in the city, up in the mountains, on Mount Titano as well. Okay, the bus has dropped us somewhere on a busy road, but we've got this cool thing behind us. So we'll appreciate that, and then we'll walk about and try and find our way to the stadium. Okay, we've found the boozer, and our beers are coming. Here? Yeah. Yeah. What's the score going to be, Fabi? 2 0. To who? Yeah. They're going to score two. Two nil. To who? San Marino. That's a brave prediction. Okay, as I've interrogated Febby and got her to give me a score line, I'm going to say one or maybe. Okay, dinner done. A few more beers. As we walk over this bridge, it's worth mentioning that. Tickets are pretty easy to get hold of for San Marino. Just go to their FA's website. There's a link to buy tickets on an Italian website. I was able to do it with the British card. It costs 12 euros each. Easy as that. In the distance behind me over there is the San Marino Baseball Stadium. Who knew there was baseball stadiums in Europe? Let alone one in San Marino. So the stadium's just a few minutes walk away from the boozer that we're in, trying to find the entrance now. Okay, well the game's about to start, and as you can see, I'm not in there. For some reason, they don't allow cameras, so we're trying to figure out what to do. I think I might have to hide the gimbal, chuck it in a hedge somewhere, which I'm not keen on, and Febby's going to have to try and stash the camera and I'll go back without it and say I've put it in a car or something, so we'll see.
they pulled it off, I don't know. But somehow they have. Okay, I'm making my way out the stadium now and I have to go and retrieve my gimbal, which is hidden behind a tree down here, hopefully. Okay, we're back. It was laid in the dirt where I left it. Okay, so one of the things we didn't think about when we brought a data-only SIM card is that we might need minutes to call a taxi. So Uber doesn't exist here, so... We've had to get hold of the hotel we're staying at and get them to call a taxi from us, so... Just be warned that Uber doesn't exist in San Marino. Well, it's the next morning, the dust has settled, and San Marino's finally stopped partying. Or, that's what I would have liked to have happened. But everyone kind of just got in their cars and politely drove home. It's almost like they don't quite know what to do when they win yet. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more travel adventures, and I'll see you next time.